Hello everyone. Well, it's a little, uh, no, it's not Thursday, uh, create on the fly. This is something I decided to do um, just last week. Uh, somebody had uh, mentioned that Thursday night was never a good night for them. And I do my uh, Frenchie Create uh, live every uh, Thursday night at 6 p.m. Mountain Time. Well, I realized that it's not everybody available on Thursday night. I'm still going to do my create on the fly on Thursday night, but then not every week. I'm going to try most week to, to pop in at different time on um, live to create something. Trying to see here if I get, um, just want to start this on this one so I can see comments. Here we go. So this way I can create a little bit more life with you and especially right now with celebration. Well, it is so much to share at a, such a short time. We get the occasion catalog, we get the celebration catalog. It is so much new stuff that I wanna share, but the time it's not there. So this morning I got up and I was thinking, I didn't use the stamp set yet, the beautiful peacock, and I was thinking, hmm. So I'm going to show you what I find out here. Let me see if I can move this. Yep, you can see right there. I got. I turned my on my computer. I turned the uh, look for peacock, and uh, I thought, hmm, those are very lovely colors. So we're going to do a baby white. So I'm going to flip you down and we're going to do a quick card. I don't have no sample. Like I said, the only stamp that I use in this is this background. I needed something inside a card and I have used that. You can see I use a lot of it already, but all the other stamps are not even put to get, I mean, never been removed from this. So let's get started. Let me push you down. And again, this don't repeat place the create on the fly with Frenchie. It's a little bit similar. I don't know what I'm going to do. Well, I get a little bit more plan and I pick the colors and so on. So let me flip you down and upside down and the whole thing there. Very, yes, it's very, um, it's a, I love stamp that sometimes you just need something in the background and that would be work perfect. So, I went and bought new BB White. Thanks for uh, sharing. And I'm going to tell you, uh, try to find BB White with less pattern in it. I had the Huggies. Well, the Huggies at the big H and the circle on it, you see how deep that is? That, it's not friendly when it comes for stamping because you see that pattern. So, I said, well, if I buy cheap, uh, BB white maybe it's less pattern in it so this one just got a little bit of wave get kind of a little monkey on it I don't even know where oh there they are so maybe you don't want to buy this one neither because you know it get pattern on it so I think the cheaper the better yes it's a surprise Kathleen I'm gonna try to surprise you guys a little bit more often but I'm not removing the create on the fly so looking at the pictures, I see that we got, it's kind of a tempting turquoise, I think. So this is baby white I put here. I'm gonna put some tempting turquoise here. And then I'm gonna put um, crush curry. Gonna put some over here. And that's the color that I can see the most, I think. Then I thought it's a little bit of rust. So I'm just gonna go in between here, a little bit there, a little bit here. Now I saw, from what I can see, I think we get a little bit of pure pizzazz. So what I'm gonna do in this, it's a little line here, a little there. So I don't have a clue how this gonna look. So we're gonna have to try it and see. Now we're going to start with, I think it's going to be easier if I start with this here. I call this the body. I don't know what you guys are going to call that. 
let me remove you know what let me put you a little bit higher so i get more space to work and more space for you to see so i get my foam in the back because it's um photopolymer i'm gonna put the body here thanks judy for sharing and i'm gonna put it on the long way because i want to put long tails so let me okay you can see that i'm gonna put that I want different colors. So let me put this this way here. Oh, that's pretty the way it is, I think. Now, looking at the body, I would have think a black body or a brown body or whatever. Well, I think the body need to be a Pacific point from what I'm seeing there. So it's all colors that I'm not uh, very um, familiar with, put it that way. And hmm, I know the body going here. Here we go. Maybe it would be easier if I do the body first. We're going to try both ways. But that's not too bad. Let's try another way here. Like I said, I was brave enough to try this and um, not even uh, stamp with this stamp set first. Um, then I'm going to do back the body. Yep, this is much easier. I'm going to share two pointer here. Okay, right here at the legs, you get two little lines that were the legs lined up. So I think that's much easier. Voila. So now that I know that it's much easier, let me, um, we're going to turn this one over and do it again. Just because um, this one here, I rock my stamp. See this? So let's do one more time. Three times a charm. Gonna put that right here. Perfect. And then, and when you do um, whatever a bedding for, I call that a bedding for your. Um, baby wipe you can stamp a lot of the cards so again you get two little lines there where the feet are it's open that's the best place i can say to line that up see fit perfect so now that we get that now we need to do that thing very poofy fluffy so i get this one here Voila. Hmm, you know what? I don't know if I want more than that. We're going to take this one here. And I need another block. I really think this uh, technique here, it's exactly what we need for all those colors. Going to do one there. You know what? I think that's about enough. I'm going to redo right on top of this one here. Here we go. Now let's put a greeting on that. We will put today, it's all about you. You know what? Let me remove this and we're going to do some trimming. This was Evie uh, Whisper White Card Stock, so that's why I was able to go on the other side. It didn't uh, go on the side. Okay, so we're going to do four and a quarter. No, four and a half. Let's do four and a half. Whoops. 
and let's do three and a quarter perfect now let's bring some tempting turquoise And we're going to do um, three and a half by um, four and three quarter. That should be a quarter border here. It sure is. And now I'm going to do a crush curry in the back of that. Oh yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna go. Um, it was okay. It's gonna be five, uh, three and a half, three and three quarter by five. I think that's gonna give me another quarter here. Absolutely. Let's bring a white cardstock. Hmm. I cannot believe I don't have any at my fingertip here that it's cut out. So we're going to cut this out at five and a half. And okay, sometimes when you cut, you see that this is like raised up. Try to think which customer shared that with me. Take your bone folder. I used to take an eraser. That's good when it's like shredded the paper a bit, but when it's just raised up, just take your a bone folder and flat that up. That do the trick very lovely. Okay, let's reach for. So now what we learned from this, or I, what I should say, what I learned from this, it's do the body first and um, then the feather second. And then you line it up with the little legs. And you're going to see the two little line in the stamp. So very easy. And the color, I went online, like I said, and look at a peacock there. And that's... Uh, I think I need some uh, ribbon with that. And I, I would like tinting turquoise, but I don't have tinting turquoise ribbon. So I will do something else. I don't have ribbon color that I wanted for now. I'm going to put this here and we're going to do something very different here. I just done that on the cards, on another card. Let's use um, Pacific Point. And then we're going to chop that up. What I mean by chop it up. It is today is all about and you and cut that a little bit more here and let's see okay that's gonna fit perfect Okay, so I bet you're going to say how wide this was. That was half inch, and this is 5 eight, just a little bit bigger. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my today here. Cut this here. Today, it's all, oh, I got glue here. It's 
all about you. Sometime even if your um, greeting, it's a big long line, you don't have to use it like that. If you look in the catalog, thanks Linda, if you look in the catalog, they do this technique a lot. So now we're going to try to decide, do I want to put that straight? Yeah, okay, let's mount that. And the U though, we're going to do a little bit something different for the U because I want that U to pop out. So I'm going to put today right here, all about And then let me reach for a dimensional. And then you. Because I want that. Voila! So now we got it. Very, very, uh, maybe this need to be twisted just a little bit here. Here we go. So now you can see very, very simple. So let me tell you again about the colors that I use on the BB White. I use uh, a lot of Tempting Turquoise, then um, Cage, uh, not Cajun, but Crush Curry. Very little of Pierre Pizzazz and Cajun Crates. That was the color that when I look online, that's the color that I thought was the, oops, put that at the wrong place there, the best fit for um, Peacock. So hope I inspire you to do some stamping today. And again, let me talk to you here. I feel I'm talking uh, upside down. Here we go. Get my ceiling. Here we go. So this is, oops, this is now taking place of a, Thursday uh, Frenchy Creative the, on the fly. I'm just going to pop in at different time, different day, here and there, once in a while, because some people say they're working on Thursday or whatever. So then you guys get a chance all to jump in. So here was the card that we done for today. So uh, what I learned from that, because it was a stamp set I didn't use yet, it's you do the big body, whatever, the body, the bird itself first, and then the feathers after. And because it's pushing a lot that way, I would try to not center this, go uh, push it a little bit more. Well, I would push it this way a little bit more so you can even have more feather, you know, like a peacock, very much a lot of feathers. So whatever worked for you, it's... Um, and I think I can even have another one at the bottom there. So, but either way, I you know what? Let me do another one here, and I'm going to show it to you. Because sometimes less it's better. Yeah. One more. Here we go, because we have to remember a peacock get a lot, a lot of the feathers. So um, I think that's even better. So whatever that you like. I know soon I'm done a life. I'm going to do a few more tests a few different ways. So I hope I inspire you to stamp. And also remember, this is part of celebration. So with a $50 order before tax and shipping, anything $50, it can be from the big catalog, occasion catalog, anything, you can qualify for this free. Uh, if you don't have the celebration catalog or occasion catalog or the big catalog, just up at frenchystamps.com. On the right hand side of my blog, I get all the flyers there or the catalog. Uh, can you save uh, the white? Yes. You know what? Very question, good question. The wipes. Here it is. This is a card that I did all those uh, celebration. Well, I got one right here. 
That is one that I done, and I did like, oh, I don't know many of that, many, many of them. And I thought, I just put that away. And last week I said, let's try that. So I'm going to push you down. It's going to be upside down, but that's okay. You're going to have the jig of it. So what you can do, it takes some water. It won't be as dark. So I would say you might as well use it quite a bit. You know, might as well do a bunch of cards. So after you uh, wipe that, let me clean this here. And that was a melon mambo, um, pumpkin pie, and daffodil delight. Very different combo, but it was perfect for that. See, it's still working. So let me turn this around here. And even better, I'm going to bring my phone. And... That was more in the orange there. Voila. So it's still going to work. It's just that it won't be as bright, your colors. So <coughs> very, very good question. So my best advice is do as many cards as you get in mind. It's not something that's going to last forever. And this was just in all... all um, that was on top. Our old uh, stamp set used to be in that. I got a few of that I was saving. You can use um, like a shallow uh, rubber uh, thing or um, what you can do is if you get just like um, a clear bag, you can use a clear bag and put your BB wipe on that. And then when you want to save it, slide it in a Ziploc bag. So that would be Perfect. And when you want to use it again, pull it out of your Ziploc bag and just because if you put it on a clear bag, like what I share for my brush show, I save this to for the brush show because I just have to wet that and it's perfectly good to color. Like when I share on um, on live event that I I had put some water and brush show on that and use it like watercolor. Well, I'm not tossing that out. It's still plenty good color, so I just put it on a clear bag. Well, you can put your BB wipe on this because you don't want to get your table dirty. And then when you're done, if you think it's still plenty of ink, just slide this in a zip lock bag so it's going to keep moisture and not dry the ink itself. And then when you're ready, you just spritz some water like I show you. So I hope you learned quite a bit today on my little surprise. I'm going to call that a uh, surprise from Frenchie when I pop in in there. Like I said, I, it won't be on a scheduled basic like my Thursday night. It's going to be just pop in as a surprise. So thank you so much for joining in. I hope you're having a lovely Tuesday afternoon. Till next time, happy stamping, and I hope to see you here back Thursday at 6 p.m. Mountain Time. Bye-bye for now.